Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our first lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So you are looking at our first example which is a past KCC question tested in 2016, paper 2, question number 2. The same question was also repeated in KCSC at 206, paper 2, question number 4. So it reads that by correcting each number to one significant a figure, approximate the value of 788 multiplied by 0 0.006 hence calculate the percentage error arising from this approximation so to understand this uh, better uh, let's start by reminding ourselves of what we mean by a uh, significant uh, figures significant uh, figures so remember a uh, significant uh, figures is a concept taught under uh, form one mathematics and there are two points you need to note as far as uh, significant figures are concerned. The first one is that all digits, all uh, digits ranging from, all digits ranging from 1 uh, to 9, all digits ranging from 1 to 9 are all significant, are all uh, significant, are all significant. Now, the digits from 1 to 9, uh, they include, that is, uh, when we talk of digits from 1 to 9, we mean 1, uh, 2, uh, 3, 4, uh, 5, uh, 6, 7, uh, 8, and digit 9. And digit 9. So this one simply means that whenever you form a number from any of these uh, digits, then uh, all these particular digits uh, formed in a number will actually be significant. A good example is, for example, you can have a number like uh, I can pick digit 7. Uh, I combine it with uh, digit uh, 3, then I combine it with uh, maybe digit uh, 1. So, uh, in this case, we say that this is our first uh, significant figure, this is the second significant figure, then this is the third uh, significant figure. Therefore, this particular number formed is actually correct to three significant uh, figures. If I also pick another number uh, from this particular set, I can even pick uh, 9. Uh, then I also pick maybe a digit uh, 5. I can also combine it with a digit uh, 2. And maybe I can also add a digit 4. So this is our first uh, significant figure. Then this is the second significant figure, the third and the fourth significant figure. Therefore, uh, this particular number is actually correct to four significant uh, figures. So any number formed... Uh, by combining the digits 1 to 9 will actually uh, form a significant figure because all the digits from 1 to 9 are said to be all uh, significant. Now, the second point we need to note under uh, significant figures is involving 0 where, whereby we say that 0 uh, is only significant as uh, 0 is only uh, significant if uh, significant zero is said to be significant if that is under the following two conditions uh, the first condition is that it has to exist if it exists if it exists if it exists uh, to the right hand side uh, to the right hand side the right hand side uh, right hand side of the right hand side of uh, a non zero digit of a non uh, zero digit, non zero uh, digit, a non zero uh, digit without a decimal point, without uh, a decimal uh, point, without a decimal uh, point. Now, what do we mean by non zero uh, digits? Now, remember the non-zero digits are actually the digits, these particular digits here, the digits from 1 to uh, one to 9. These are what we are calling the non-zero uh, digits. So, if a zero uh, exists to the right-hand side of a non-zero digit without a decimal point, then such a zero will be said to be uh, significant. Maybe we can uh, give a few examples. Uh, for example, if you have a digit like uh, 400, uh, 400 then this zero and this zero are all significant the reason being they are existing to the right hand side of a number 
without a decimal a point therefore uh, this is our first uh, significant figure this is our second significant figure this is our third significant figure therefore this particular number is said to be correct to three significant uh, figures notice that we are saying that without a decimal point because the moment you introduce a decimal point then such a point uh, becomes invalid for example if you have a digit like um, uh, let's say uh, 0 0.4 a uh, 0 a uh, 0 then for this particular case actually this one cannot be uh, said to be uh, to the same number of uh, significant figures the moment you introduce a decimal point then it interferes with the significant figures uh, that we need another uh, good example uh, we can also talk of a number like uh, 5 2 uh, then 0 uh, 0 so this is actually correct to four significant uh, figures so we say that uh, these two zeros are significant because they are appearing to the right hand side of an unzero digit the unzero digits here are the five and the two remember here the unzero digit was four so if uh, zeros are appearing to the right hand side of an unzero digit without a decimal point then such zeros are said to be a uh, significant therefore this is our first significant figure at uh, the second are uh, the third then the fourth so these are actually a uh, four significant uh, figures then uh, we look at the uh, second condition under which uh, zero is said to be uh, significant so the first condition uh, was that uh, actually uh, the zero has to exist to the right hand side of an unzero digit of course without a decimal uh, point then uh, the second point uh, or the second condition under which a uh, zero is said to be significant is if it exists if it uh, exists if it exists uh, between non zero digits if it exists between non zero digits between non zero uh, digits if it exists between uh, non zero digits with or without a decimal point with or without with or without a decimal a uh, point with or without a decimal a uh, point so zero is also significant if it is existing between an and zero digits either with a decimal point or without a decimal point so we can give examples uh, a good example can be a number alike a uh, two zero zero a uh, three so these two uh, zeros are actually significant the reason is because they are existing between non zero digits that is two is an non zero digit three is also an non zero digit therefore uh, this is our first significant figure this is our second significant figure third significant figure then fourth significant figure therefore the number at uh, 2003 is said to be correct to four significant uh, figures so the uh, the zeros are significant uh, due to the fact that they are existing between an and zero digits another example uh, could be a number like uh, let's say 0 0.7 uh, uh, 0 uh, 4 then for this particular case this particular zero is actually significant the reason being it is existing between this non zero digit and also at uh, this non zero digit so if a zero is existing between non zero digits for example 7 and 4 then it is said to be uh, significant therefore when we are counting the significant figures in this particular case uh, this zero will not be significant the reason is because it is appearing to the left hand side um, that is of a number then of course before a decimal uh, point therefore this is our first significant figure remember we said all digits from one to seven that is one to nine are significant uh? this zero is also uh, a significant figure the, due to the fact that it is existing between two and zero digits then four is also a significant figure because it is a digit existing uh, between the range of uh, that is one to nine therefore this number is actually correct to three uh, significant uh, figures it is correct to three uh, significant figures we can also have um, another uh, number here uh, we can also uh, check a number like Maybe you can be given a number like uh, 0. Uh, 0.003 uh, uh, 0 
uh, 7, then we can have 0, 0, uh, then 4, uh, 0, 0. Now, for this particular case, uh, this particular numbers, uh, so these three zeros will not be significant because they are appearing to the left hand side of a number. Then, of course, uh, these two zeros uh, will not be significant due to the fact that they are appearing after a decimal uh, point. Therefore, uh, the only significant figures here will be a three due to the fact that it is an unzero digit that is existing from one to uh, ten. That is one to nine. Seven is also significant. Four is also significant because these are unzero digits. However, the digit zero existing between three and seven, it is also significant due to the fact that it is existing between two non-zero digits. That is, it is existing between three and seven, which are non-zero digits. Also, zero, zero, these two are also significant due to the fact that they are existing between two non-zero digits. That is seven and four. These are non-zero digits. So if a zero exists between a non-zero digits, then it is said to be a significant. Therefore, for this case, this will be our first significant figure. Uh, this will be our second a significant figure. This will be our third significant figure. This will be our fourth significant figure. This will be our fifth significant figure. Then this will be our sixth a significant figure. Remember, these two zeros are not significant because of the decimal uh, point. Otherwise, if there was no decimal point, then these two will be significant due to the fact that they will be on the right hand side of an unzero a digit. So in this case, the two zeros are simply a place value uh, holders. Therefore, this number is said to be correct to uh, this is one, a uh, two, three, four, five, six. So this is correct to six uh, significant uh, figures. We can also have a number like uh, let's say uh, 20. Uh, so 20.08, uh, uh, maybe zero, uh, 07. So we can add another uh, zero here. So remember uh, these two zeros, so this zero and this zero will be significant because they are existing between two non-zero digits, that is two and eight. Similarly, this zero is also significant because it is existing between eight and seven, which are non-zero digits. However, this zero is not significant because of the decimal uh, point. Therefore, uh, this number is correct to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is correct to six. Uh, significant figures whereby this is our first significant figure this is our second a uh, third a uh, fourth uh, then a uh, fifth uh, then of course a uh, sixth then lastly we can also check a number like uh, let's say you are given a uh, 0 0.28 uh, or 208 uh, uh, then maybe 0, 0, uh, 001 then 0, 0. So this one is actually correct too. This is our first significant figure because it is non-zero digit. This is our second significant figure because though it is a zero digit, but it is existing between two non-zero digits. Then this is our third significant figure. Then these two zeros are also significant because they are existing between one and eight, which are actually non-zero digits. So this is our fourth, our fifth, then our sixth. So these two zeros will not be significant because of the decimal a point so this is correct to uh one a uh, two three four five a uh, six so these are six uh, significant figures but if you have a number like uh four uh two maybe zero zero a uh, zero then these three zeros will be significant so this will be correct to this will be our first significant figure second a uh, third a uh, fourth then fifth so these are uh, five significant figures due to the fact that the zeros are existing to the right hand side of a number and there is no a decimal point uh, within this particular uh, question. Now, having understood uh, what we mean by significant figures, we can now uh, look at our question. Now, so uh, this is a question that was repeated in two years, meaning that most students did not perform well in it. So we'll start by uh, the instructions are very clear that by correcting each number to one significant figure. So the first digit that you are given is 788. Uh, so I want to express these uh, to the instructions to one uh, significant figure. So this will be given by, so I'm having 788. Uh, eight. 
So this is what we are calling the first significant figure. Uh, this is our second significant figure, then the third. So they want it correct to one significant figure. Therefore, I'll make a line here because this way I'm having the one significant figure. Then the digits are coming immediately after seven is actually greater than five. So that means I'll add one to the uh, previous uh, number. So I'll add one here. Then, of course, the other positions are replaced with a zero. So seven plus one, I'll get eight. Then these two positions, I just replace them with a zeros. Therefore, a seven, eight, eight to one significant figure uh, will actually be equal to uh, 800. So this will be 800 uh, correct to one uh, significant figure. Then I also check the second uh, digit that I'm given. So this is um, 0 0.0 uh, zero, uh, 6. I want to express this to one uh, significant figure. So this is a uh, 0 0.006. 0 uh, now, uh, this of course is our first significant figure. The two, the three zeros are not significant due to the fact that one, they exist to the left hand side of uh, an unzero digit, and two, uh, due to the fact that they are not existing between any two uh, and zero uh, digits. Therefore, this will be my first significant figure. Therefore, they wanted me to express this to one significant figure, so the final answer will just remain to be 0 0.006. So remember, I would have added the zeros after the six, but when you add zeros after a decimal point, the zeros have no value. Therefore, this is just 0 0.006. This one is already a correct to one a significant a figure. Then, uh, uh, because I want to get the percentage error, I'll start by getting the actual uh, product. So the actual product, uh, actual uh, product uh, will be given by, so remember product simply means multiplication. So actual product, I'll simply multiply uh, the numbers I was given. So it was 788, uh, uh, then multiplied by uh, 0 0.006. So you feed that on your calculator, you're going to get uh, 4.7. So this will be 4.728. Uh, so this is our actual uh, product. Then I'll also get the approximate uh, approximate uh, product, the approximated uh, product. Uh, it will be given by the following. So the approximate product will be uh, the product of the numbers when expressed to uh, the one significant figure, which was the instruction uh, given on the question. So a uh, 788 to one significant figure, I got it as 800. So this will be 800 uh, multiplied by uh, 0 0.006 to one significant figure remain to be uh, 0 0.006. You feed this on your calculator, you're going to get uh, 4.8. So this is the uh, approximate uh, product. Then after that, uh, we know that to get the percentage error, uh, so percentage error, uh, percentage error in the product, the percentage error in the product, will simply be given by the following. So we'll simply take the error in the product, uh, error in the product, the error in the product, then we divide with the actual product, divided by actual uh, product, uh, then multiplied by 100%, because they want the uh, percentage uh, error. Now, so that means we need to have the error in the product, so remember, error in the product will just subtract um, uh, the numbers uh, which are given. So percentage error, uh, percentage error in the product, uh, percentage error in the product will be given by. So the error in the product will take the larger value minus the smaller value. So the larger is the approximated uh, product, then minus uh, the actual uh, the actual product over uh, the actual product actual uh, product then of course this has to be expressed as a percentage so this will be given by that is the percentage error will be given by the approximate uh, product uh, we got it as 4.8 so this will be 4.8 uh, this one here then minus the actual uh, product we got it as 4.7 so this is 4.728 uh, divided by the actual product is uh, still 4.7, uh, 0.728. Then we multiply this with 100%. Uh, percent. So this will give us, uh, the difference on the numerator will give us 0 uh, 
a 0, 0.72 are then divided by a 4.728 then you multiply this with a hundred percent you feed this on your calculator you're going to get a uh, one whole number a uh, 108 uh, then over uh, 197 197 uh, percent remember when you are dealing with a percentage error uh, it is uh, advised that you give the actual answer where possible you can leave it even in fraction form because the fraction form is not an approximated value but if you must approximate then your answer has to be at least to four significant figures so this one to four significant figures I uh, will get um, one point so this is one point uh, five five uh, two three uh, two three uh, percent so this is correct to uh, four significant uh, figures Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.